Apirami Vinod Manju is from India. She was happy when she received her place at the University of Technology in Cottbus. Its GDR predecessor already had a good reputation, and these days more international students apply to study here than the university can accommodate. Cottbus was the only university in Germany offering masters in artificial intelligence, and that too an English-oriented course. So I decided to come to Cottbus, Germany, and the university is offering a diverse and vigorous study program. Asan Hayat was born in Pakistan. Almost half of the around 7,000 students here come from abroad, mainly from India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. The 33-year-old is doing a doctorate in experimental physics. Asan also appreciates the university's international cosmopolitan orientation. It is confidential and we can bring our concerns and they can also highlight uh, what we can do uh, to make it in the right direction. But there's a problem. There may not be right-wing graffiti here in Cottbus city centre, yet the surrounding area is anything but cosmopolitan. The far-right AFD party currently leads in polls for the upcoming September state elections here, as well as in two other eastern German states holding elections. Cottbus's AFD candidates are even being monitored by Germany's domestic intelligence agency. And Adelina Awemu, the Christian Democratic Union candidate, was racially assaulted. One of the people concerned about the increasingly xenophobic climate in the region is University President Gesina Grande. Over the years, the extreme right-wing networks, associations and organisations here have developed an unusual level of coordination and cooperation, and that's created a very specific milieu. It's not for nothing that the domestic intelligence agency keeps coming back to the region. They want to shed light on what's going on in these networks. Apirami hasn't had any problems so far neither on campus nor in the city. But far-right stickers do occasionally show up on campus. Far-right members have also tried to book rooms for events, and well-known right-wing extremists have enrolled in order to influence discussions. We don't want to live in such an uh, unhealthy environment. Uh, all we need is to be accessible and present in an inclusive environment like Cottbus. So far the city is very welcoming and pleasant. I don't know if the case when the right wing is coming to action, I'm really afraid and it's a kind of threat to our lives as well. To counter this, Cottbus University has developed a programme against right wing extremism, the first of its kind in Germany. This includes workshops, education on right wing symbols and clear messaging such as the motto on this bench, no place for racism. Cottbus is a pioneer in this respect. We're now going to work with other German universities nationwide to develop a common plan of action on how to deal with the far right exerting its influence. Esan is married with two children and has been living in Cottbus for nine years. He also hasn't experienced any hostility, be it in the neighbourhood or at the gym. But the prospect of the far-right AFD coming first in the elections worries him. Our kids are born here. They are growing up, but still, uh, you know, nobody knows if they are real born in Germany or they come from Pakistan because of the uh, appearance of our kids. And in the street or at some point, uh, they could be in danger. So we are also afraid of this, like what the f future holds for our kids. Other students feel the same way. Gesina Grande fears for the university's good reputation abroad, but she is not afraid of the AFD itself. Even if the worst case were ever to come about and we ended up with an AFD-led government, we would still have our university autonomy. And no politician of any shade can dictate what we research or teach or how we organise our campus life. No one. That's protected by the Constitution, and that's a good thing. Both Abhirami and Esan would like to plan their futures in Cottbus, and the region urgently needs such qualified workers. So, there is a lot at stake for everyone in the upcoming state elections.